Ah, pants. I don't think there's anything that skaters are more particular about than their pants. Why? Because nothing really changes how your skateboarding looks like a good or a bad pair of pants. Anyways, I've been wondering for a while now about Dickies versus Carhartts. They're both pretty popular in the skate world, but I think they're pretty different in terms of feel and quality. So, having had very little experience with Dickies, I went and bought a couple sets and um, tried them out. So I've been riding them on and off for a couple months and I now think I have a pretty good feel of what I think about them. So while I'm talking about them, why don't I go straight to the Dickies? I got, I think, four pairs of Carhartts here and three pairs of Dickies. So I don't know exactly what models all of these are. I just kept the labels. I bought these at Walmart. Um, they don't have the best labeling on them. It's basically like work pant or what's the other one? Relaxed fit work pant. Anyways, let's get into it. So the first pair that I tried was just your classic blue Dickies. The first thing I noticed just when looking at them is there's a lot of loose threads. The fit and finish just isn't anywhere near as nice as the Carhartts. And I've been wearing Carhartts for a long time as a carpenter. I've been wearing the actual, you know, like double front carpenter ones. I've been wearing the lighter carpenter ones. I've been wearing those forever at work. But yes, the two things I noticed as soon as I picked up a pair of Dickies was one, I didn't like the way the material feels. And two, they just look cheap by comparison. And they are, they're half the price of the Carhartts. I think these are around 35 bucks from where I can get them. And most of the Carhartts are about 80 bucks. So that gives you some perspective. Now, first off, let's look at the material. What are these made of? 65% polyester made in China. So that right there is exactly why they don't feel as nice as Carhartts. I don't know exactly what the content is in Carhartts. Let's take a look at that. 100% cotton. That's a big difference. So this one is mostly plastic and this one is 100% organic materials. Well, I can't call them organic pants, but what I mean is it's natural products, not plastics made from petroleum products. And you gotta think about that with what you wanna wear on your body. At least this West Coaster likes to. Okay, but first things first, I tried these ones. These are just the work pant. Let's see if I can find any sort of thing on it. It says P018642. So maybe that is whatever model it is. But it just said work pant, loose fit. Now the first thing I noticed when I put these on is they were super tight for a 34. So that's one thing you're gonna need to know right off the bat. Buy a size up than your usual size because these were so tight, I basically felt like I had to pee for this entire session. As for the length, they were a 32. So for a 32, it wasn't too bad, but I usually find 32 a little bit too short for me. I like a 34. I'm one of those guys that doesn't like to see any sock when I'm skating. The trend for a long time has been for everyone to be wearing pants that are too short, but I've never been down with that. I don't like seeing my sock. So these were a little bit short. The plus side is after I wash them, because there's barely any cotton in them, they didn't shrink that much. But I wasn't able to skate these more than one session. They were just so uncomfortable. I couldn't even have them done up when I was sitting down. As for the look, actually I thought they looked kind of sharp. Sock business aside, you know, they really didn't bother me too much that way, but I didn't wear these ones much. Now, it's not the only ones I bought. What else did I buy? I also bought the Relaxed Fit Cargos. So these ones felt a lot better right off the bat. The material still has a plasticky feel to me. There were still tons of loose threads all over the place. Like, so the fit and finish is still pretty cheap. So the size of these was still 34, 32, and I actually needed to wear a belt with these. So the fit was definitely nicer. They're super, you know, flowy and relaxed. I like the way they look on film. I still don't like the way the plasticky polyester thing feels. They're still the same 65% um, polyester, but the look and the feel of these was way better. So I'm actually gonna keep these pants. Um, it's just, I don't wear them much because they don't feel good on my skin. Again, these ones were like 35 bucks. And yeah, they were just like the relaxed fit cargo pants. Don't know what the actual thing was. Let's see if I can read it to you guys. W841H56. Maybe that's it, maybe it's not. These ones were made in Honduras, not China. Interesting, Dickies is outsourcing all over the place. 
Okay, but I did want to try another pair of the relaxed fit work pants, these blue ones, just to see if getting a size up would help because somebody actually warned me of that and I forgot to take the advice. He said, get a size up for comfort. So I ended up getting some 36 relaxed fit work pants. And when I first put them on, I actually really didn't like the way they looked when I was just looking down at them. I felt like I was looking down at super fat guy pants. But once I got them on and then saw the footage, so here's a bunch of footage from it. My son is always egging me on to try things that I don't want to do. He's egging me on to try the hubba, so all right, whatever. It's not much of a hubba, it's just a little down ledge. Oh, I don't want it. You got it. No, I don't. You'll get a first try if you commit. scary. I literally had to like talk to myself and be like, you're going to do it first try and you're not going to get hurt. But in my head, I'm like sketched. First try felt a little sketchy. So I wanted to get a little more solid. Okay, I'm done. Don't, don't tempt me. And now he wants me to do this one, but I didn't want to do this one because of all the stuff on the ground and my feet slipping. But I've been clearing it. Just a nose slide. Keep it simple. Those are easy. After seeing that, I really didn't think it was so bad. These are though, in a way, a bit too relaxed fit. So these are now 36, which is almost two sizes up compared to what would feel really comfortable in most pants for me. Um, the crotch was too big, so I could feel some restriction on movement in there. However, it wasn't so bad that it affected my skating, but I just didn't like it when I was trying them on, trying to move my legs around. Absolutely needed a belt in these, but the fit was closer to the right size. And I think I will keep these around at least for a bit until I have more suitable pants that feel good. But I can see a lot of threads coming loose, a lot going on that's just, you know, they're just not durable and the fit and finish again is not what I would expect. Even right here, just from sitting on my board a few times, I can see that it's like wearing away on the butt. So. Definitely, I don't think I'm gonna get a good lifetime out of these pants. Like they look like they wouldn't last me longer than about six months. And my Carhartts usually last me years. So my final verdict on Dickies is they feel cheap, plasticky. The fit and finish looks cheap. Um, they're not necessarily the most comfortable pants. Like I don't like the way they feel on my skin. The fit isn't always that good, except for those super relaxed fit, stretchy cargo ones. But then again, it comes down to me just not actually liking how they feel on my skin. Anyway, so my verdict on Dickies is I won't be buying any more of them um, unless they have some that are 100% cotton. I'm just not down with wearing something that's mostly plastic. Not for this nature loving West Coast hippie boy. Anyways, let's get into the Carhartts because yes, I get asked about these pants all the time. You guys are always like, Ben, what fit Carhartts are those? Okay. Well, I've got a couple different ones and I'll just read what the labels are. These are one of the earlier ones I bought. So these are a 34 by 34. So they go right down to my feet. Um, made in Nicaragua. What ones are these? They say Carhartt, relaxed fit. These gray ones are 102291-039, relaxed fit. Now, 
Now, they're not super baggy. These ones are actually kind of tight, but they are one of the only Carhartts I have that I can easily skate in the summer. Again, they're 100% cotton. I mean, I haven't looked, but I'm pretty sure they're oh, 98% cotton, 2% spandex. I can live with that 2%. That's why, even though these aren't the baggiest of my Carhartts, they still have a little bit of flex and they feel the best in the summer. The pockets on these aren't too obtrusive. It's got a little pocket right here that I always keep my carpentry pencils in. It's not bad at all. Um, it's I've skated in these for years and the butt is doing just fine on these pants. They're fading a little bit, um, but these are at least two years old. I've done a lot of work in them. I've skated in them a lot. They're holding up really well. They're trim enough at the bottom that these ones haven't been overhanging my shoes too badly. Got some switch heel wear on my on my left right or my right leg anyways i really like these ones there's no loop on these ones either no hammer loop so i le actually like that about it. i wish i knew exactly where to find this exact one again haven't found it but here's another one i've had for a couple of years and these ones are a 34 by 32 so this is the b159 mus loose fit while I actually like the way these ones look on film, I think they're a nice pair of pants. Um, these are a 32 and they're a bit too short and I get a bit too much sock going on there. They have a hammer loop on both sides, which I'm not crazy about. I'd rather it didn't have it. And the pockets aren't too obtrusive on these ones. I love the color. Um, I do find that these ones dig into my hips a little bit when I'm wearing a belt. So they're definitely not as, um, not as trim as some of those. They sit a bit lower though. That's another thing. The Dickies work pants sit really high and I forgot to mention that. And these Carhartts sit a little bit lower, but still kind of high. I think though this is just definitely a great style, a great look. I would get them in 34, so a little longer again. Of course, remember, this is all relative to my height. I'm six foot one, but I mean, even still, torsos can range and leg lengths can range from people of the same height. So you better know your own pant sizes, don't go off mine. But I like these ones again. The fit and finish is good. They're like triple stitched on the inseam. You know, these are just a durable work pant. And I think that's why skaters have been taking to them because they last. So I really like these ones, just wish they were a bit longer. That's one of the main reasons I don't wear them very much. All right, next, we got some more. Oh, and these ones, actually I forgot, are a little bit thicker in the material than those gray ones. So again, not my favorite summer pants. I can do it, but they stick to my legs a bit. All right, these next ones, what are these? These are some nice 100% cotton black ones. So I really like these ones. For whatever reason, the material on these is pretty light. And I want to be clear, none of these are the double front, like super construction-y work pants. Those suck for skating in. I know there's gonna be a couple of you macho men on there that like it and say they're good. No, they aren't, they suck. I've tried, but enjoy. If you like skating pants that suck, have fun. They're awesome work pants, but the double front are not skate pants. Anyways, so yes, these are actually light pants. And when I work in them for a couple of years, they actually wear down pretty quick compared to the double duck front dungaree blah blahs. So I like these ones though. These black ones look great on film. Again, the material is quite light. It's got a pocket here, but it doesn't bug me too much. Um, one belt loop or no, two hammer loops. But I love these pants. They're a little bit long on the bottom, so the heel gets a bit shredded, especially in a trim shoe. But they look great, they feel great. Um, I can actually skate these ones in the summer, even though they're black. I definitely like these pants, but they're not the most comfortable in the summer. So I still leave these for, you know, the other nine months out of the year. So I love these ones. Anyways, I'm gushing now, but um, yeah, they're good pants. All right, and these green ones, love these ones too. Uh, the material is a little bit thicker like the tan ones. So I find that they're not the best when it starts to get warmer. These ones actually are 34 in length. So I like the way they look. The only problem I've had with these is for whatever reason, the pocket on this one is really stiff and um, it gets kind of uncomfortable, especially right after I wash them. Oh, another thing about, yes, all of these pants do shrink. So when you buy them, they should feel just the tiniest bit long. Know that they're gonna shrink up a little bit, especially because they're 100% cotton. 
But yeah, I love these green ones. It's a great color. They're a great size and fit. These ones are the B159 DMS, loose, original fit. 34 by 34, made in Nicaragua, 100% cotton. So yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about Carhartt pants. Each one of these pairs of pants I paid full price at Mark's Work Warehouse. We're talking 80 bucks before tax, but these have all been money well spent. They look great on film. I love the way they look when I skate in them. They last me a really long time. They feel great on my legs. They make for great work pants. I just, in general, can't say enough good things about Carhartt. So I will definitely, I would rather buy one pair of Carhartts than two pairs of Dickies. That's my personal opinion. I also like the way they look better. So I think it's becoming pretty clear what my bias is here, you guys. I obviously prefer Carhartt pants over those other ones, whatever they are. Dickies. Um, but anyways, moving on, my only critique about these pants is that yes, they're a little bit sticky and a little bit tight in the summer, but because of their fit and all the room to move, they're not that bad. I mean, if it's getting really bad, just wear some shorts, take, take the shin bruises, don't be a baby, tan those legs. But um, yeah, that's almost all I have to say. The one last thing I have to say is I wish Carhartt would make some pants that have no major side pockets and no hammer loops um, and maybe be out of the thinner material. And I would buy those almost exclusively in any color. Make some jeans ones. I love the way Carhartt jeans can look when they're nice. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, on one last note, actually, I'm gonna show you guys a pair of pants that I've been loving. Okay, so check out these ones. These were just a weird, rare find from Steve's board shop. Um, these ones are a brand called Hagger. Just came out of nowhere. They were on sale. They're normally maybe like 70, 80 bucks. So not a cheap pant. They're 100% cotton. They felt like velvet on my legs. Um, the only thing I would have changed about them is like, these were the only pair that were there and I've never heard of this brand. They're pleated and they have like a permanent crease. However, if you go on their site, they have all kinds of options. So this is just what was there. Um, but I gotta say, the pleats and the creases really bring out the middle-aged wasp in me, don't they? Yes, they do that quite well. Um, but other than that, on that note, I find these ones like, they have a nice, lots of room here especially because they're pleated right the fact that they're pleated makes it be more extra room here and they taper really nice down to the shoe so they don't drag over my heels again these pants are 34 by 34 i don't even need a belt in these pants they're really nice they're one of the most comfortable pants i've skated in in ages so if you're looking to spend a little more but get a nice pair of pants i like i would buy these over the carhartts i can skate in these in hot weather in the summer um, Hagger. Not haggard like Bam, but Hagger. Check them out, and if you do buy something, tell them Ben DeGrow sent you, and then tell them to sponsor me so I can get lots more waspy pants. Anyways, that's all I have to say. If you guys want me to make another pants video, let me know. I'm getting super into trying to find really nice pants because like I said, nothing changes how your skating can look more than pants. Nothing changes how your skating feels than the feel of your pants. Well, I mean the shoes and the skateboard matter a lot. But in terms of an article of clothing, pants are the most important thing in my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, that's been a whole lot of chatting at the camera. I really want to get some skating done. So um, I'm going to go do that. And uh, have a good one, you guys. Go skate.